एंड वेलकम टू हार्ट एंड हेल्थ इन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ हार्ट एंड हेल्थ विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टार्टेंस कॉमन विथ्स विच विच आर एसोसिएटेड विद स्टार्टेंस एंड कॉमन इंडिकेशंस फॉर विच वी आर यूजुअली प्रिस्क्राइबिंग स्टार्टेंस स्टार्टेंस आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन यूज एजेंट्स इन द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ कार्डियोलॉजी वी हैव बीन वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली गिविंग देम टू द पेशेंट्स हु हैव हैड एंजाइना और हैव अंडरगॉन अ प्रोसीजर सच एज अ स्टिंटिंग और अ बाईपास सर्जरी or also to those who have got diabetes and end organ failure with diabetes besides these patients who land up with stroke or have peripheral arterial disease or have familiar hypercholesterolemia also uh, given statins there is too much of information about statins on the internet which can be at times overwhelming there are multiple myths which are associated with, with the use of statins and most of the patients to whom we are prescribing statins are often afraid of the drug what do these statins do these statins uh, are basically uh, responsible for lowering the ldl cholesterol level ldl cholesterol is the prime culprit which is responsible for the coronary artery disease stroke peripheral arterial disease and complications of diabetes besides this it can also lower triglyceride level it can marginally raise the levels of ldl cholesterol how efficacious is it in raising the hdl level it is it causes very slight increase in hdl levels it is around 1 to 10% and how efficacious it is in uh, uh, decreasing the triglyceride level it only causes moderate decrease of 10 to 20% of triglycerides a uh, highly elevated triglyceride level would not be corrected by the statin alone we have to have we have to use some other drugs for correction of these triglyceride levels how much ldl can be lowered by these uh, statins depends on the strength of the uh, drug which we are using we have been using uh, atorvastatin in or rosuvastatin in very various doses the high intensity doses can lower the ldl cholesterol by more than 50% the moderate intensity statin can lower the ldl cholesterol by 30 to 50% low intensity statin obviously will cause uh, ldl cholesterol reduction by less than 30% how much ldl cholesterol do we need to decrease well this depends upon the indication for what purpose are we giving the statin when the patient is at very high risk what is very high risk very high risk is a patient has got a established atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease that is patient has patient already has uh, coronary artery disease or had uh, unstable angina or had uh, chronic stable angina or has undergone bypass surgery or has undergone a uh, stent in his coronary arteries or has suffered a stroke or has peripheral arterial disease or has stage 4 or stage 5 chronic kidney disease or patient has diabetes mellitus with end organ dysfunction these are the subset of patients they are said to be at very high risk in these patients we have to give statins we have to optimize the level of the statins to attain an ldl level of less, less than 55 mg per deciliter in case the patient has got ldl cholesterol level more than 190 or total cholesterol level more than 300 or patient has diabetes mellitus with without uh, uh, without the end organ dysfunction or patient has chronic kidney disease stage 3 stage 4 patient requires ldl cholesterol level less than 70 mg per deciliter in case patient has moderate risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease that is patient has a uh, diabetes of less than 10 years duration that is to say type 1 diabetes mellitus with age less than 35 years or less than 50 years old patient with a history of diabetes mellitus these are the patients who can do well with ldl cholesterol levels less than 100 mg per deciliter all others are at low risk of cardiovascular diseases and uh, for these people ldl cholesterol level less than 116 mg per deciliter is sufficient there are multiple benefits of statins which extend beyond their benefits on the cholesterol profile they have been found to have some anti inflammatory and antioxidant effect also statins also decrease the mortality in the patients who have suffered a heart attack or have coronary artery disease however all these benefits do not come without any side effect statins are kind of infamous for their side effects 
most of the patients are very worried about the side effects of statins the uh, common side effects of statin include their muscle side effects the derangement they cause in the liver profile there can be some changes in the sugar levels and some statins have been found to be associated with cognitive decline talking about them uh, one by one so muscle induced uh, so statin associated muscle side effects are the most common side effects seen with uh, statins around 10 to 15% of the patients who are on statins have experienced some or the other kind of muscle side effects they which commonly includes muscle aches and all there is a term which is uh, called as nocebo effect so nocebo effect is when you consume something believing that this will harm you you are going to experience some of the other symptoms of harm because of that agent you have uh, taken statins have been found to ha have this uh, nocebo effect most of the times the muscle aches which is found in the patients who are on statin is usually in the patients who are elderly who are having hypothyroidism or who have concomitant vitamin d deficiency and uh, most of the time it has been found that uh, mere switching of the statins or de-escalating the dose uh, can take care of the muscle side effects the serious kind of muscle side effect which is called as rhabdomyolysis is very very rare i mean i have not seen any case of uh, rhabdomyolysis in uh, past few years and this is something which has been reported that around one to three per one lakh patient years is the actual incidence of statin induced muscle lysis which is very rare some of the patients might line up with derangement in liver profile around 0.5 to 2 percent of patients who are on statins in particular the potent doses experience some derangement in their liver profile however in most of the cases it is it can be easily taken care of and it does not come uh, and it does not cause any harm to the patient statins are quite infamous for the side effects on their sugar profile it has been said that statins might cause some derangement in the hba1c level hba1c level is the parameter which we use to follow or diagnose the uh, diabetes it has been said if 255 patients are continuously given statins for four years then only one of them will land up into statin induced diabetes so the risk of statin induced diabetes is very less as compared to the benefits which we get after starting statin there are certain drugs which usually interact with statins and uh, they increase the phenomenon of drug induced uh, muscle side effects these drugs include commonly used antibiotics such as erythromycin and clarithromycin antifungals and uh, some drugs used in the hiv patients some common antihypertensives such as uh, amlodipine can also interact with uh, statins some drugs which are used for rhythm disorders for example amiodarone can also interact with uh, statins and, for, and the chances of muscle side effects of statins may be higher in these patients i'll confine my discussions on statins and lipid profile uh, to this much only and we'll be talking about the diet and the, its influence on uh, lipid profile in the future videos